Cardio or weights? Both. TikTok or Instagram? TikTok. Call or text? Text. Passenger or driver? Uh, I like to drive. I like to drive too. Your favorite pizza topping? Sausage and mushroom. Comedy or drama? Comedy. Too much drama in the world, yeah. man. Comedy. Cable or streaming? Cable. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Terry, why did you call me about this job? Well, I knew you weren't busy. <laughs> <laughs> I did have a lot of time, you're right. Uh, no, I, you know what? I want to win. I know with your background and us working together before that uh, you can help this program win and win it at a high level. Yeah. Well, I think I told you this before, but right when you got hired, you know, I told my wife, I said, if Terry calls, we're going. It, it was probably about, I don't know, 30 minutes later, yeah. you called. I said, that was Terry. Yeah. So <laughs> it, it was a great moment. Why do you think UCF can be the best program in the country? I think everything's set up. I've kind of said this before, but uh, the foundation's already been laid. You know, the great players, the great coaches, the great teams. Uh, you're talking about a program that has played in three New Year's Six games in the last eight years and everything kind of coming together. And I just f I felt like for a long time, if the right guy would ever get here and stay here and build it, it could be the best program in college football. So that's really what my, my thinking was, um, you know, in taking the job. And now that I'm here, I believe it even more now. What was your first impression of the student athletes when you got hired here? And one of the things I asked very first was, how do you like campus? How do you like UCF? I go, do you guys enjoy going to school here? Yes. I mean, it wasn't, there was no like, uh, I'm on the fence. It's like, yes, we love it. And, and it stood out to me how happy our players were too when I yeah. first met, met them here. And of course, they went without a head coach for a month and not one of them went in the portal. And that's amazing. And that, that's, that's saying a lot. It, it says a lot. It says a lot about that, you know, uh, just they like each other. This is a great place. And that's kind of what stood out to me in my initial meetings too. So Terry, you know, we've talked about having a chance to be the best football program in the country. How about the, the rest of the athletic programs here? Well, I think we have the resources to be, to win a national championship in any sport we have. Um, as we continue to build our vision for the facilities and for what Alex Cartwright wants as from an academic mission standpoint, um, we have the best coaches, I believe, in the country that are already here and are committed to, to, to build this program. We've just got a lot of dedicated people that really believe that we can be one of the best athletic programs in the country. You know, a lot of people ask us, yeah. I don't know, at least they ask me, yeah. they ask people like you, how do we define a success? I'll let you go first. Yeah, success to me is, um, first of all, is having a goal as a team and a dream and achieving it and doing everything you can to achieve it. And then the second part is preparing for life. Yeah. And uh, so it's kind of a two-part thing for me uh, that really kind of go hand in hand. Yeah, and I, and I kind of look at it along your lines as being the best you can possibly be. Not having success at any one moment in time helps us learn mm -hmm. and helps us get better. You know, I know people ask us, what's your greatest fa failure? Um, I don't think we look at any one moment as a great failure. Mm -hmm. We look at it as a learning opportunity. Yeah. So even though People may look at it on the outside, look at it, hey, that's a failure, or he didn't do well. We can learn from it and say, you know what? I'm gonna be better because of that moment. Mm -hmm. And that's how I look at it. Yeah, I, I know for me, from a coach's standpoint, like probably my biggest motivation is from losses or yeah. a big loss. And sure. you know, I'm the type that I don't think about winning championships or the past championships. You know, I think about a couple hard losses that way back when, even one from high school in the state championship game, I probably think about once a week, but it motivates me. So I just try to use those learning experiences, those negative experiences uh, for positives in the future. You, you know, Terry, I, you know, you got a big job. Yeah. I mean, being an athletic director yeah. at a great place like this, I mean, what are some of the things that you learned uh, through your athletic experiences that help prepare you, you know, for this job? You know what, it, it truly believe with my student athlete background, mm -hmm. my coaching background has helped me prepare and to identify with what our coaches and our mm -hmm. student athletes are going through. I was able to work with some of the greatest architects in the history of college football. I, I get to work with Howard Schnellenberg, I got to work with Clint Mason, yeah. uh, Mark D'Antonio. Yeah. I mean, guys that you've yeah. come across yeah. in your professional yeah, no, career. I, I looked up to. <laughs> I know, and so I, I mean, they took me under their wings and, and, and you know, let me, uh, you know, learn from them and, and 
Unfortunately, Coach Schnellber passed away uh, recently. I tell people all the time, I probably learned more from him than any other ministry I've ever worked for. And um, so it was, uh, you know, it, it was all because of sport. But also the other thing too we learned is about perseverance and dedication and hard work. Not to say that other industries don't have that, yeah. but I think our industry mm. is just a little different. I do too. Because they're constantly being judged. Yeah. Don't you agree? Oh yeah, yeah, because what we're doing is out, <laughs> out in the world, yeah. you, you know, everybody's got an opinion. And I think, you know, overcoming adversity, I think that's one of the big things I learned in sports that helped me get to where I'm at. Uh, dealing with success and just those real life things that go on that uh, just help you prepare for life. And also helping young people we talked about a little earlier, achieve their success, but the pressures that they have now more than ever before. And, yeah. you know, being able to really know mm -hmm. and identify what they're going through, I think helps us both. I mean, I would think. Is there anything in your office now that when you look at, remind you of why you do what you do every single yeah. day. Yeah, something I'm pretty proud of right there on my desk is uh, the national championship yeah. rings, you know, that we won a national championship in 2010. And it's also a, a good conversation piece for recruits. I mean, you know, recruits have dreams and the fact that, you know, we won a national championship and been there and done that, I think that's a, a pretty special deal. And rings are not so much about the championships. Yeah. It's about the work that goes into the championships. Yeah. And I think you're right, you know, so, you know, won a national championship, um, and when we did it on the field, it was good as you think. I mean, it was unbelievable. You get in the locker room and you oh, it's unbelievable. And I remember getting on the bus, you know, after the game and sitting down by my wife and said, that's it. You know, and in my mind, I built it up, and then the phone rang, and I started recruiting for the next class. <laughs> so it helped me yeah. understand you got to enjoy the process, like you're talking about. The process of everything going like this and achieving it. Uh, that's the fun part. And that's why I told our coaches this other day. I said, guys, we're going to win a national championship here. And right now, there's stuff that we don't have that we're going to get, but the process, enjoy it. Don't take anything for granted. And so that's just always something that stuck out to me. You know, you know we talked a lot about football and yeah. competition and, and yeah. UCF. And, you know what? Let's, what let's, let's throw something out there. Is, there. is there something that you want to do before you die? You know, really, uh, what comes to my mind right when you say that, I want to win a national championship right here. Oh, wow. That's what I want to do, and, and that's really... Let's go. <laughs> yeah, let's, go. let's go. That's, a, Come that's on. what's on my mind yeah. in this situation. I've said this before, it fits me perfect. Yeah. I've kind of got a chip on my no shoulder. No question. Our program me too. Has a, yeah, you, got, you <laughs> definitely have a chip on And so that's yeah. why I think us all coming together at the right time, it just feels special. And I think everybody around can kind of feel it. You know, we say the future of college football is here. Uh, that's not a marketing deal for me. That's real life. 